Hello guys and gals, Eagle Blade here, and welcome to our let's play of Solaris as the Pacifist Tomb World Turtles. And last episode we uh, started to discover the worm event chain, so we'll see how that turns out. And right now we have to solve our food crisis that we have, and it's a constant fight so far that we're having. Okay, let's see about this. Okay, the Bethlehem Interstellar Order has agreed to our research agreement. I think that will be a nice relationship boost. And I just want to see now if they be willing to be invited into our Federation. To fight the Federation, no. To Power of Empire equivalent in fleet power, na superior naval capacity. Hmm. So we would have to try to probably get to bordering them, but we have these two hive minds and this empire, so that probably might not happen, but let's dive into other things. I feel like I'm gonna... Yeah, let's hook up these tiles. about the food. All right. Uh, this will give us uh, more things with the worm event. The black hole in the Batherian vortex is, is active again. Lipping signals fl flickers as in the darkness of the edge of normal space. But this time, there's an acoustic message acoustic message encoded in the signal. It sounds very like Hask's voice, what shall be Hask vulgar in tones, what shall be was, then the same coordinates as the first signal. The coordinates where Hask, Hask was lost, what the media has christened the exit point, then they say name, Torba. Okay, so we have to, have to try to figure out what we want to do. I think I'm going to say uh, Torba volunteers to go. So, who is Torba? Just I think he's one of our scientists. Yep. So, tier 3 scientist. Uh, we can spare the energy to recruit new scientists. I just want to see what are the benefits of this uh, black hole. Disintegration chance. Hmm. Interesting. So. Okay, so our, our president leader wants uh, to have build mine stations, so we need to get that done. Let's take up that. Some nice juicy minerals. It's a lot we need to build. Just a lot. We need to really increase our. We do really need to increase. Okay. The horizon signal. I'm through. This time the ship is running fully automated. Torba is the only crew member aboard as it approaches the exit point. The ten tentatively streams to fill up the fascinating data. Once again, space fluxes, gravity un uncoils. Torba reads off the headline data, encoding elementary they are commendably calm we sent we've sent a professional it takes a little while for everyone to realize that something is particular about the timing Corba is no longer echoing the data they're predicting it the the telemetry disagrees but only for a few seconds until it catches up the monitoring team is just recording that the particular 
interval is increasing when Torba says, wondering, wonderingly, I'm through. It's dark. They add, that's not a problem. We can live in the dark. I never thought of that. But of course, we can live here forever if the worm will only wait. And then a moment the signal cuts and the ship disappears from our team sensors. It's horrible. It's incredible. Fascinating. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's going to be interesting. We definitely do need to solve this food problem. And wasn't I trying to upgrade? Yes, the station. Need. Okay. Uh, cure, cure homeworld. Uh, Gamsala 4 was the homeworld of the of the ancient Kerr, an alien civilization wiped out by the Cybrex roughly 600,000 years ago. The planet has been thoroughly stripped mined by the machines, and a few scattered unit scattered ruins are all that remain of the Kerr civilization. The rest has been grounded into dust. Log updated. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Research that, but uh, let's wait a few ticks to get some orbital hydroponics. I think that'll be beneficial for our growing food output needs. Because right now we just need more food. Thinking about sacrificing this mineral tile and just having a hydroponics. Also need a unit a unity building right there. I think. Isn't, I th yeah, well, the genetic clinic will give us some more unity and boost our societal research. Private collector on Crass Prime has somehow come into ownership of an ancient precursor artifact believed to be Cyrex in origin. We could buy the artifact, long as in the Museum. Well, I think we'll buy it. So, Cybrex. That I can't get us to be level five or higher. I think our level five scientist is dead. Or guess that scientist will research that project when given the chance. They're researching that stuff. Colony is growing. We're building this robot for food purposes, and that population is growing. You for now build mine. All right, we've got another civilization. Interesting. These guys appear to be in some sort of yeah, industrial age. Let's look at their population. Oh, there's xenophobes and authoritarian. But this, but we'll claim, try to claim the system if we can. Because, oh my, yes, look at that energy. This system needs to be claimed by our people. Survey complete. I just, wait, I even haven't even got an ad roll in here? Wow. I'm sure there's some people that are kind of yelling at you for that one. So let's see. Weapons range. Yeah. Welcome to Command of the Fleet. Let's upgrade you. And let's see, actually, ship designer. We got level three, three lasers and 
real guns. I actually want to see uh, comparing real guns to plasma weapons. Shield damage. Right, so the real guns have a better range, but these have better damage to armor and shield damage. And laser weapons. Okay. Actually, we should be comparing uh, the laser and the plasma weapons because. Yeah, even then, laser weapons outrange plasma we weapons. I guess uh, the, this design will be fine for now. Just upgrade the fleet. And we need to, yeah, we need to claim this, these systems. Ships upgraded. So I do kind of want to go to our home system and uh, construction complete. Yeah. Proper. Rest station and let's build some more. Let's build another Corvette. Construction complete. Now let's just wait for all of our stuff to kick in, kick back in. We are in desperate need of minerals. So why don't you guys go dock up right now? Don't you dock up as well. Technology discovered. All right, some new tech, better shields, excellent, and. You can either get their plasma weapons or, uh, complete. actually like the idea of getting x-ray lasers. I believe there's level 4 la laser weapons. Yeah, we just need to boost our mineral income. And fill that complete. mandate. So why don't you go here. And... I think we got a construction ship already working on that. Okay, the next uh, Horizon single, the Trine, the Queen, the Trine. Once again, the Horizon single in the Lithin Vortex is active. It has upped its game. Once again, the transmission includes the exit points coordinates. It's uh, it signaled with the primi primitive command key of Hask and Torba. But this time, it's a generative text program written in an elderly programming language that that, catch it, that creates what appears to be love poems. Love poems directed to Torba. They honest, they're honestly not very good love poems, but it, it but it is our scientists agree. But it is our scientists quite difficult to generate love poems produced procedurally and quite unusually for a black hole to send love poems at all. Hmm. We'll ask it nicely. Let's we'll get nicely. Sorry, Torba. Please you might be sacrificed to the black hole. Alright. You. Okay. Uh, horizon signals where the where the end comes from. This will be the end of me, Torba says at the briefing before launch. I know I won't come back, but I think I always knew this would happen. Whatever is in the hole has been waiting for us for a long time. I think it's been waiting for me since before I was born. Once again, the signal single pilot ship approaches the exit point. Once again, space boils into a fever. Again, a sensor array soaks up fascinating data. This time, Torba is sent silent. The telemetry becomes and then and then two is silent. The ship has reached the exit point. The coordinates around it are returning to normal. Nothing has happened. Nothing. The monitoring team 
mutter furiously. The ship is different. In fact, it's a different ship. It's Hask Volger's vessel, lost three years past, drifting now away from the exit point. Its Elish team find, find it pristine and empty. No trace of crew and no sign of violence. But there's a journal entry in Hask's name filled. What will... What, what, what... What is will be? Our scientists reveal it nervously. Possible, one says. I hope so, says another. The ship is renamed the Founding, returned to service. The signal's dead or sleeping, says another. At all, and ever again. Okay, so I picked up a new science ship. The Founding. So let's recruit a new scientist. And I'll pick you. Did you actually even, even surveyed this black hole before we got the loop event? If we don't have scientists for this one, I think I'm just gonna decommission this ship. Save up on save up on our energy. And speaking of let's go to our colony here. We need to upgrade our mineral output. So construction ships that were going on lazy mode. Let's send you, send you in here, and let's wait, let some time pass. Just really need to up our minerals, because yeah, we're friendly with these guys, but border friction's gonna grow, and wow, actually, we are, their fleet power, okay. Survey they probably complete. got hit by the raiders or something. Survey complete. But these guys are the ones that, yeah, concern me. They need to be dealt with. Or not dealt with, at least blocked. So we need to really build up right through here. I think that this guy will be our choke point right here. Technology discovered. Kind of build a line right there. Okay, now, hmm. okay, we could go with those, but star-based building costs, now that, hmm, but this will give us a big boost in energy, yeah, still haven't gotten any other ship classes, which really does annoy me because I just really want there to be more better ship classes to pop up for us to research, but we haven't gotten that. So you... Build us more minerals. We need more minerals. Construction complete. Alright, we fulfilled the mandate. Good for us. Let's hook up some more power. Technology discovered. Excellent. Uh. Okay, farming. Yes, better farms is what we need. I got like a thousand things going on. Survey complete. Okay, so we've got people immigrating from around. Awesome, nice to see that many people are migrating, building up these population centers. The 
Loop Temple signals in the stone. Archaeologists have found a found a forgotten temple in the remote hilllands of Resh, buried for centuries but recently exposed by an earthquake. Dating techniques suggest it's a pre-industrial relic, hand-hewn from volcanic rock. However, the recurring symbol on the walls and rattling altar, a mobulus looped septum, consumed its serving consuming its own tail, has no obvious pr precedent in our early history, and the inscriptions use an unknown alphabet. One excitable, arch excitable archaeologist suggests it's a relic left by an unknown precursor race in a presumably meaningless consistency the quake seems to have occurred on the same time as the final message from the black hole in the Lytherin vortex. The Smart Study Log updated. Alright, let's investigate this temple. Anomaly detected. Alright, research the anomaly. Excellent. All right. So, we have construction ships there. I think afterwards, we're gonna have you claim this system before they can get their hands on it. Now it's gonna eat up a lot of our in our unit our influence, but I just want to grab that system before they do. Ideally, I would get this line, or this line, but it's just too big of an important thing not to waste. We just really need to hook up all, this ener all these minerals. Cool, an ancient survey marker. Discovered. And that's actually uh, for shipyards and build. Construction complete. Wait, we do have destroyer tech? <sighs> I really do need a anomaly detected. Rewatch some of my videos because it's been a few days since I played. I'm kind of trying to figure out, pulling around with some of the configuration. Having a big laser weapon. Nah. I think the configuration that they kind of had was the best thing so far. I am going to have like one plasma weapon for close quarters engagement. So, some shields. Then armor. Anything else we can improve? Nope. So let's actually crank out some destroyers. A destroyer. I think it'll just boost our boost our fleet. Have this stack be as strong as possible. Yeah, some mighty strong systems. So we just need to make sure how we get that. Because these guys are looking a bit threatening. Oh, uh, sorry, on pause. And let's move. Survey complete. All right, this guy is done with that. So let's move out right th through here, examine the fringes of the Nova Legion space. Looks like there's another empire here. Have we nailed the contact? I don't think so, but we'll probably push some stuff up so that way we can learn. 
But anyway, I think this is a good point to put a cut in the episode. So if you like this video, please put a thumbs up and comment down below. I will be naming uh, people a after anyone in the comment section. So if you want your name in there, please let me know. This is Eagle Blade signing off saying good luck and always keep a blaster handy. Bye guys and see you later.